Just as I was prepping for my trip to Johannesburg for the BRICS summit, I had this incredible meetup with the South African ambassador to China. Beyond harmonizing on a tour together, we explored the robust relationship between China and Africa. It was clear in his belief China plays an indispensable role in the global South family. The differences between, for instance, our urban population and our rural people, incomes are still because of the history. We are still developing. We belong to these groupings, BRICS, G20, and so on. Uh, we have got the BRICS Bank, what is called the New Development Bank, uh, which is really helping in all our countries, uh, funding infrastructure at affordable rates, and uh, it's also cushioning us even in terms of uh, bad times. Our president said, that let's not just have these things we sign on agreement. Let's have practical projects which benefits the people. So if you check our trade, it's uh, growing, uh, particularly the statistics with China. China remains the biggest trading partner in Africa, biggest trading partner in South Africa for 14 years. We are the biggest trading partner from the African continent. Trade with China is so big. We've got South African companies who are investing here. Most of our big corporations, they've got presence here in Beijing and other cities, Shanghai. But more and more Chinese companies have invested significantly in South Africa, creating jobs. Those are direct benefits uh, to, to, to our people. Uh, if you check the trade, for instance, uh, of South Africa with all the BRICS countries, it's very positive since we joined in 2010 now. That is, African countries who have made a step towards our unity and formed this big uh, trade block called Africa Free Continental Trade Area. We are inviting our, our, our foreign friends, particularly BRICS, to take those opportunities to industrialize Africa. Uh, help us to trade with each other and China has been leading in this in terms of creating infrastructure which make our connect the African countries. So that's what attracts even other developing countries to be part of, of BRICS.